in very, very jubilant mood. And he gets a great burst of applause from these fans who've appreciated his efforts, and why wouldn't they? He scored the two goals that brought them back into this match and gave them life, and now he takes up his position in the centre-back position. Short. To Wilshaw. McDade. Perry cuts it out. Norton lets it bounce off his chest. Elliott touches it down. It was intended for Fagan. Comes to Wilshaw. Perry and O'Halloran was in there lurking dangerously. And they were glad to get it back to the safe arms of Colin Oakley. Crowley. Norton. And now Cove are playing with only three players in their defence. They have nothing to lose and they typify the spirit of cup football. But Andy Elliott might expose those gaps. Looking for a fourth goal, stopped by Wilshaw. O'Leary to McDade. Getting by Fagan, trying to go by Ferry. Fergus McDade, the Donegal-born player. Indeed, he's one of only four players not born within Cove itself, playing for Cove Ramblers. This drops to Mick O'Leary. Oh, it should have been the equaliser, and he knows it. The cross came over perfectly for McDade. It dropped to Mick O'Leary, and he put it just wide. So now Sligo just seconds away, it seems, from a cup final place. McLaughlin trying to set up an insurance score, perhaps. Content to hold, looking for that corner flag. Wilshaw's beside him. McLaughlin does well. The chance of a fourth score as it comes out towards Gilligan. Fielding, but the referee's whistle had gone. That'll be a free to Cove Ramblers. Tense, anxious faces with just seconds remaining. Rutherford, bandaged head and all. Fielding drives it through the centre. What a good ball that was from Gus Gilligan out as far as Savage. But he runs into a strong challenge and Paul O'Neill eventually gives it away to Harry McLaughlin, trying to get by Wilshaw. And the referee's whistle is gone, and Sligo have made it to the cup final at the end of a Titanic battle. The supporters stand to Chris Rutherford, who scored two goals in the second half, brought them back into what was a tremendous match. What a pity there had to be a loser. So it's a sixth cup final appearance for Sligo, while Cove can reflect on what might have been, having provided us with magical moments to remember from this year's cup campaign. Disappointment, of course, for the players, and emotional sadness for the supporters, who brought back the colour and excitement.